All right, on to the next one. Getting a lot of time for a lot of these rollies because there's a lot more to them. Though, in some cases, like that last one with, like, you know, Flatline Hiyaku, it's less that there's more to it and more the fact is this is very long, but whatever. Rogue Rice. Or Rogue Rice. Welcome to Dungeons and Deliciousness. Alright, so it's made by Under WW. He's basically involved in at least a few here. We got Hack Slash Cook from last year. We got Snowglock, a survival relic game from 2022. 4KRL is basically a Homp series, so like, you know, tribute type of relic. We got Roguecraft, Dungeon Dweller, Arcana. I assume these are basically all, like, you know, Let's have a look at them here a little bit. So, Rogue Craft is, you know, 2020. There's 2019. And Tiny Rogue is... Not a Sunday Roll, but, you know, whatever. The Shield Map Generator. So, he's been, like, you know, prolific in a bunch of, like, you know, Pursuit Generation stuff. It was just him who made this one. Alright, so... A cooking focus relic for Sunday Rail 2024. So, similar to his last theme game. Arrow keys, numpad, V keys, or WAS to move or melee attack. I or numpad 0 to open inventory. Okay. Space or enter to confirm interact with current tile. That's fine. Escape, I or numpad 0 to cancel. Okay. Period, numpad 5 to rest once. F5 to restart the game or F11 to full screen. Most foods have special effects. Use them wisely. Most cooked foods have more nutrition and stronger effects. Eating raw food can make you more hungry, but you can still get get some benefits. Why would raw food make you more hungry? You won't die from hunger, but your regeneration will be slower and your attacks will miss more often. You won't be able to eat food if you're all, um, if you're too full. You can also use a controller. I just added for fun. D-pad, move, A, confirm, B, cancel, extra inventory. So, all right. The Warren Cook. So let's see here. There's no diagonal um, movement. Rabbit here. You butcher the rabbit and get rabbit meat. Okay. I can cook. You roasted a rabbit. So this is like a you know a mandatory tutorial. All right, that's fine. It's not like you know hover over for stuff like that. So whatever. Uh, Water cook. 16 HP. Strength eight. Depth one. You step on a hunger trap. You suddenly feel hungry. Okay, let's eat. How do I eat? Inventory. Um, that tasted good. Okay, so I guess there's probably like a hidden door there. Prime pan meat cleaver. Okay, so I got a weapon. I got myself a frying pan for defense. Okay, interesting. So basically it's got like, you know, a way to skip the tutorial if like you, you already know what you're doing. Eat. Walking mushrooms. Let's wait for it to get closer. You butcher the walking mushroom. Butcher the giant frog. Make sure to walk in mushroom. So there's some mushrooms and frog legs, okay. Now does my HP come back, I wonder, or...
Okay, so giant frog jumped me and killed me, so I died. Press F5 to restart. I see I have to pick these up each time. There's a wild pig over here. That guy punts me. I guess you can sort of kite the mushrooms, which is what I should be doing. So basically move like, you know, back twice, hit him, move back twice, hit him. Okay, so dry fogs basically can jump you and basically get extra movement, I guess, maybe. So that's a thing. I seem to be able to cook everything I want to, so that's fine. There's my inventory. That worked out pretty well. I wonder how long the campfire will last. I'm hungry. Okay, let's just eat. You feel yourself speed up. Okay, so the frog legs speed you up. That's their bonus. There's an advanced meat cleaver. You can only hold like one weapon at a time, I guess. Recipe, mushroom pork chops. Let's get the advanced frying pan. Well, I cleared the level this time about dying. So, mushroom pork chops, these take, um, look at that, they take one fry like two mushrooms, and two wild pig ribs. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. How do I get out of, like, you know, this here, though, by the way. Um, escape I or numpad zero to cancel. There might be a bit of an issue here of like, you know, um, yeah, you're, when you're basically in a recipe, you get locked in because you can't, like, you know, get out. Like, I can't make any more of the recipe, right? There's no cancel button here, so... Oh, there we go. Finally got out. Press zero finally worked. Cook. Let's go for... a baked mushroom. I now resist poison. And let's go for... pork rib. Um, that tasted good, so basically that just, like, you know, resets your hunger. A vampire bot. That seems very powerful.
I think I am redrawing my HP a little bit, so that's nice. It might be based on my citation dough by why I just throw it out there. The giant spider here. Okay, so we kill the giant ant, the vampire bat, and the uh, giant spider. You know, this sort of like, you know, this is very much like those special relics, but instead of like, you know, you're basically eating a, like raw, you know, corpses and stuff like that. In this case, you're like, you know, cooking them up first. Basically, like, eating like all the items of the dungeon that you basically come across, so that's a thing. You know, I kind of feel like that you should have uh, actually have it here, so it's like, you know, stuff up top is basically like, you know, like got a different marker for like, you know, what's basically cooked or not, so that could be something that could be improved. Okay, my, that was a yummy mushroom pork chop. Your maximum health increased by four, you feel stronger, and you feel much better. Okay. Satiated. I've learned crispy legs and wings. I don't know how these basically like, you know, trigger their like not back ability. Choose one. I can restore HP. That's not really necessary. I can enchant weapon. Or I can resist paralysis permanent. That might be nice to have. Press zero to cancel out of that. So that's obviously like go in a very like you know random like sort of pattern maybe. Okay, I need more spire legs in order for that one to work. I can make this for now. Is this a merchant? Well, there's a spire legs in need, by the way, so that's nice. Unknown food? So yeah, it's like, you know, you can basically pick them up or you can like leave them behind. It's up to you, really. Alright, I basically loot everything here. Let's just go to the, um, the campfire. I think you can probably travel between fireplaces is the idea. Let's get this going. Yeah, you can actually go between deaths here, right? So. Okay, let's eat some food.
I feel much better. Another altar can restore HP with a baked mushroom. I can enchant armor. Or I can get brief fire. That also requires crispy legs and wings, but you know, whatever. Okay, we can cancel out with like inventory button here. Okay, we got eyeball jelly. There's the jelly. So big eyeballs, gelatinous cube. Apparently I found a gelatinous cube somewhere. And ice cream. Let's get to one of these again. There's an ice golem here. Sort of like myself to be hit here a little bit, but whatever. Okay, Butcher the Walking Mushroom. Got a lot of frog legs to make, you know, make use of it want, I guess, so. We'll cook, cook up some of them. That's fine. We'll cook up that much. All right, there we go. I made them. Do this at least once, so you can now breathe fire as permanent. You know, whatever your sensation basically goes down based on like you know how much HP you're restoring. So if I'm not restoring HP, I'm not like you know getting hungry. Maybe that could be a thing. Let's just go here and we'll go eat. But yeah, I, I would like to see like some like you know difference between like you know what is basically um, like a cooked food, what is basically a raw ingredient. A little bit more icons in here would be nice, for sure. Wild pig ribs, I think, is um. Okay, these are the foods up here, I think. Mushroom pork chops. Has no effect, apparently. And that might be like a one-time effect where you get like your HP boost from this, but that's about it. Let's get hasted. I probably framed there, I guess. Let's see here. I need mushrooms for stuff, so let's just cook some of that right there. Oh, I got poisoned. So poison really hurts when you get poisoned, so. 
I wonder if, like, you can eat the mushroom, like, after you basically get poisoned, it'll, like, you know, prevent you from dying from it, so... That might be something to look into. Do I brief them whenever I butcher stuff? Is that how it works? You brief them. It seems to be like sort of like random or like on doorways or something like that. Oh, I got paralyzed. So that's where like paralysis can come in, I guess. These guys can paralyze you. I died. All right, well, that's basically like, you know, um, Rogue, Rogue Rice. It's basically like, you know, the same theme as like his last game, but, you know, this time instead of managing a restaurant, you're just like, you know, in a game to see getting around. Um, this seems to be a, be a lot better done than like, you know, the last one. But at the same time, it's like, you know, you're just like, you know, cooking up dozens of, the, of, the, of your enemies basically do stuff. But it's fine. So I enjoyed it enough. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy it and take care.